Okay, two years ago, I did a notebook review and the commentary on the notebook review was <laughs> rather colorful and we'll get to that in a second. But what I wanted to address in this review is giving the brand a second chance because I believe in second chances and why not give them a second chance. So this entire video is about giving notebook therapy a second chance. Now, I wanted to address a couple of things before we went into the details and nitty gritty of the review itself. But the first things I wanted to address was quite often in the first video, which you can find in the links below. And just to be clear, because of the previous video and the comments that were given on the previous video, shut down comments for this one too. But there was quite a bit of commentary about me being biased. Absolutely, at the time I was supporting Archer and Olive with their design team, but that doesn't take away from my personal values. And it also doesn't take away from what I believe makes a good notebook. And again, as I stated many a times in the previous video, being specific around your opinions and having an opinion is perfectly okay. Everybody is allowed to their opinion. But when your opinion is not based on fact, which mine was, and it was based on the facts that were in front of me, um, those opinions can actually be really hurtful. And there's a person behind this account. I am actually a person. I'm not some figurehead bobbling around on YouTube. No, I'm an actual person with feelings and thoughts. Um, and I'm allowed to have my own opinion on a, note, a particular brand of notebook. Having used multiple brands of notebooks, multiple, 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 I do have a select group of favorite notebooks. And the reason they're favorites of mine is paper quality, basic things, paper quality, um, ethics is a really big one for me um kind of the message that's being portrayed um you know kind of just really base i'm a pretty easy person i'm pretty easy going so making sure that you know the brand itself kind of aligns to what i like then i will shop there and recently i've actually <laughs> become addicted to a water model brand um because they're really sustainable and um they really enjoy um sharing really positive stories and stuff so for me it's about sustainability it's about the brand itself and essentially the quality of the notebook at the end of the day so wanted to address that first and foremost i think regardless of whether or not you're working for a company or not that doesn't skew my opinion one way or another um i'd always liked archer and olive notebooks i'm now more of a fan of the mossery notebooks um that's because the paper quality is very similar to kind of the old school scribbles that matter when scribbles that matter had coated 120 gsm paper uh, i don't know if you guys remember that that's quite a while back in the bullet journaling journey um, and it's super fountain pen friendly which I really like um, I've recently been practicing my copper plate, copper plate calligraphy in the book so really loving that notebook and if I'm going to choose a favorite notebook at the moment everything now has to stack up to the mastery notebook uh, whereas before it was Archer and Olive and before that it was Scribbles That Matter and my tastes and style change and my opinion on notebooks changes so that shouldn't be a negative it should be a positive um, so yeah, so let's kind of get started. Okay, let's get straight into it. And you can see from these reviews, there are some really positive reviews. Really recommend, love this brand, this is great. I'm really excited that these people had a good experience. Absolutely not denying them their awesome experience. Fantastic. However, if we go back up to the top and we click on the two and one star reviews, which aren't very many, it's 14% of the 70 plus percent. There were a couple here that had had similar experiences to myself. And some of those experiences included the order didn't arrive. I think the six week delivery time one is not really fair because everything was slower because of COVID. Um, scam from China, uh, liars, like there's a lot on here that is not in positive. So if you're looking for a review that is not mine, feel free to head over to Trustpilot and go check that out. Okay, the next thing that I want to address is some of the shitty comments that I got when I originally posted the notebook review. 
and I'm gonna start off with dude oh my god this is the best company in the world you are so arrogant wouldn't say I'm arrogant not really the vibe that I go for but okay I think the issue here is that you've got super fans for all different types of brands and you're going to have people that are super excited about something um, I wouldn't say that just because my opinion differs to yours uh, means that I'm super arrogant um, but okay sure um, in saying that when you look at some of the other reviews online some of them are not glowing either and I just happen not to sugarcoat things um, I would rather be honest than sugarcoat so keeping that in mind I wouldn't say that the best company in the world I'm sure there are far many more kind of like all birds I would say all birds is maybe one of the best companies in the world or even a company that is beast B Corp certified like many of those companies are the best companies in the world but I wouldn't say it's the best company in the world I'm sure there are many all right the next uh, comment lady you can't be serious this rent is narcissistic much what exactly is wrong with the notebook I think in the video I state very clearly a number of times and you can see here that I'm stating it very clearly. The other thing I was really surprised with, and this was something I actually really liked, was the velvety texture of the cover. What a great, different feel to a notebook cover. Actually kind of nice, I didn't dislike it. Um, it's pretty well made, it comes with a cute little whale charm, I quite like that, it's very sweet. Is okay, um, I liked the cover, I liked the little freebie, didn't love the bleeding and we're going to test it again a little bit later because we're giving them a second chance and I didn't like those things. I didn't like the shipping issues and I absolutely didn't like their customer service reply didn't love that so with that in mind what was wrong with the notebook the notebook itself had bleeding issues and ghosting issues and I didn't love that simple then the last one it you didn't like it because you overlooked information because it's from China and not from a first world country. For, just to cover about, because we're going to go into that a little bit more in a second. And because they weren't professional enough about their environmental efforts. Okay, that's already contradicting. I hope your experience with buying from a different culture, um, they're not a different culture, they're based in the UK, and educate you a little more about how original and standard are different from country to country and what more regions that's also not good English but anyway that's fine good luck in the future I will take that good luck in the future and hopefully I do get good luck in the future but what I want there's a couple of things I wanted to address particularly with this comment the first thing is we don't refer to places as first world second world or third world countries um, you know back in the old narrative i would have been from a third world country that's where i was born because i'm originally from south africa so i understand different cultures the other thing around that that really irks me a little bit and because they weren't professional enough about their environmental efforts no it's about that they've stated something specifically they've said that they are fsc certified but they don't show that or prove that anyway so they're saying one thing, but you're not seeing the evidence of that. So that's not about professionalism. That's about transparency. Okay, let's now get into the nitty gritty of the next part of this video. Okay, I wanted to order a notebook, obviously, but I also wanted to order something else to make, you know, kind of the package, just to test out some of their other products as well. So when I was having a look through, a couple of the notebooks were already sold out, which kind of sucked a little bit. Some of the ones that I looked at were sold out. Um, and the color vibes, the ones that I liked specifically, were only in that original size. And having learned from the original uh, video that you would have watched, that was not probably my favorite part of the shopping experience. I finally landed on the uh, matcha kind of for kind of notebook. It's a linen cover and also then landed on the um, cute little stamps. And we're kind of going to get into those a little bit later. We're going to test those too, but I'm pretty excited about what I've ordered. I just want to pause there for a second and talk about the cost to New Zealand. Yes, shipping is free. That is fantastic. 
but the cost ended up being almost $52.50 for the notebook in New Zealand dollars, which is incredibly expensive and is really right up there with the cost of notebooks. $54 for a notebook is insane. But hey, I'll take the free shipping. Super excited about that. Let's see how long it takes to arrive. So once I was done selecting all my things, I placed my order and I was ready to go to wait for shipping. Okay, first I got an order confirmation, fantastic. And this time I finally got a shipping notification, which was also great because I hadn't received that in the previous, um, in the previous video. And that was something that really frustrated me because I'd reached out to them and asked for that um, shipment tracking number and they never replied. And that was something that really irked me about the customer service. So at this time, super excited, got confirmation email, shipping email, let's start tracking. So I thought I'd give it about a week before I had a look in first and you can see here that I checked in at 11 days and then 13 days um, and then 14 days and delivered. I'm pretty surprised. Let's let's call that what it is. It's not bad. So second chance round. They're doing really well shipping wise. Thumbs up. Okay, you can see here that the box has arrived. Let's open it straight up. Um, benefits of long nails as I can cut through <laughs> sellotape. Um, just wanted to point out the box, same as last time, was pretty ripped up. And, you know, I guess that's fine. It happens with shipping. Um, let's get this straight out. It was wrapped in pretty sustainable um, recyclable cardboard or recyclable paper um, kind of protection. Um, and something I wanted to... Oh, I love that there's like a little freebie. Stop that right now. That's super cute. And I like that it's on matte paper. That makes me super happy. But the first thing I wanted to point out real quickly was that there's no FSC code on the packaging of the box uh, where they claim that that's something that's important to them. It's not listed there. Next thing I got was the bullet journal tracking stamps, which are pretty cute. And we'll open them up in a hot minute. Okay, so... Obviously, we have, this is not our first rodeo. We knew we were getting a fabric matcher one. Um, the box is a little dented, you can see. Um, and let me grab some scissors. Okay, so oh, taking off the plastic covering, we can, it's a soft plastic, so I'll put that in soft plastics recycling. That's great. And we open it up with very soft uh, or very thin um, kind of tissue paper protecting it. And then the fabric cover. Um, I like the detailing on the spine. It's really cute. And beautiful bright white paper and two ribbons. How great is that? And I'm going to do a little bit of a paper comparison a little bit later has a nice opening page and to be honest with you super excited again about the cute little freebie I love freebies um, so when we look at it structurally it's um, very similar to many other notebooks but I'm gonna say that this is almost identical to the Archer and Olive notebooks um, the fabric feels very similar the fabrics also a similar color and I'm gonna see if I can find a comparison I love the branding on the back that's something that I just love branding and having that little additional branding on the back is super cute now let's open the second box, which is the bullet journal stamps, and we'll give those a test in the notebook because um, I have ink that I like to use with watercolors. So we're going to test that out, see if it bleeds through. And these are super duper 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 cute, and I'm actually I'm actually not sad about these at all. It's going to be like Tetris getting them back in, but that's okay. I like that there's little icons. Um, I'm probably going to use those quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I find the irony here with a notebook therapy stamp, probably not going to use that one, but still a cute addition regardless. Anyway, definitely going to use the tracker. Um, going to use uh, some of these other cute little calendars as well. Um, there's a to-do list, a priorities list, and a, kind of a habit tracker as well. So we'll give those a test, see how well they stamp, and if they actually, because the words are really small on them. So what I thought I would do is see if those words actually come out nice and clearly I do like the little flag one and I'll definitely use that um, but now yes getting them back inside the box is a bit of a Tetris game 
Now I've just noticed that there's a minor manufacturing default on my book. It's got a little dent in the corner, but it's not a huge deal. Now I was hoping to find my time for tea, but I was not able to. So here's the Arch and Olive uh, kind of plant one that they, were, they had. And again, they're almost identically made. Um, you can see the binding is very similar. Um, and you can see when you open it up, there's that first page that kind of sticks together um, on the Arch and Olive and also with the notebook therapy. So realistically, they're almost identical. Then, you know, in back to back comparisons, this one doesn't have a pen loop. That's OK, but it's also got two pe um, ribbons and does it lay flat? I feel like it does. It lays pretty flat, in my opinion. Um, so they're, they're identical in, in kind of the flatness. Um, comparing the paper colors, though, I find this one quite interesting. Um, the paper colors, again, are identical to the Archer and Olive Bright White. Um, comparing it now to the Lostrum, and then finally to the Scribbles of Matter, uh, also Bright White. And you can see that in comparison to the 160 GSMs, they're pretty identical and there isn't much change between them. But now let's get into the real bit that I know many of you have been waiting for is the pen test. And I'm going to use pretty much the exact same pens I used the last time. So I'm going to press pause here and just show you which pens I used last time. Okay, so I got the Sharpie, I got an Ecoline, I got a Crayola, I got my Caron markers, I got a whole bunch of pens together. This time I'm going to add a couple more. I'm going to add Kelly Creates, I'm going to add the Calliographs, I'm also going to add some highlighters, and we're going to test all of the above. So I think it's going to be quite an extensive test, and we've also got some pens that we can get together. Um, you can see, I've put in the description below, I've actually got a pen cut tour of how many pens I have it's a little bit crazy town so feel free to go have a look at that okay so we've got the pens or uh, well, the brush pens we're going to use I've also got a Tombow Fudunasuki and just the Tombow dual tip and then we've also got a whole bunch of kind of day-to-days as well as a fountain pen because I thought that was really important to have as well so with that in mind we're going to move them all aside and we're going to kind of start from the top and work our way through to the bottom and I'm going to just kind of speed that up because it's a bit boring and I can't talk through all of it Okay, we're heading into watercolor territory. So I just pulled out my Amy Tangerine watercolors. Love them. They're super cute. And as always, don't use too much water or else it will make the paper pull or make like little bubbles or kind of degrade the paper. So don't use too much water or too much of rubbing action. If you want to blend them, just go really gently. That's my top tip for watercolor today. So we're going to, again, use um, the kind of blended one so we can kind of see how it comes out. You can see I'm not using a lot of water here. And then I'm also going to um, add just a third color and write it out as a test with a little bit extra water in it so that we can see how it ends up looking. All right, I now know that you're super keen for the big reveal. So I'm going to kind of blow those dry. <laughs> I do love these little freebies. I'm so addicted to them. That's so cute. I love that. Um, and we're going to use the little stamps next um, and going to see how they fare on the paper as well. So I'm going to turn the page really slowly and I'm going to zoom right up close to be able to do that. And let's get. OK, big reveal time. Let's turn over the page. I'm going to zoom right in so you can see all of the details. So zooming right in, you can see the eco line and the car and marker have bled through. I'm not seeing much else in the bleed through and ghosting department. You can see the pages have absolutely rippled where the watercolor was. Um, and specifically, you know, there's no surprises there with the eco line and the car and markers and also no surprises with the pages dimpling under the watercolor because they're not watercolor paper but other than that no ghosting and bleeding that I can see 
Well, that brings us to the end of our 2022 Second Chance review. And where do I stand with that? Um, great question. You know what? Wasn't disappointed with the shipping. Got prompt email correspondence, so easy. And didn't hate those cute little stamps and kind of love the freebies. So can't say that this is a negative review. I think more of the negativity in this review was based on the previous negative comments that came through on the original review. Um, but it's been two years and I don't know if there's been changes or manufacturing changes or whatever there is. But hey, I'm honestly not disappointed. Um, would I order again? Probably not. I'm not confident that they are FSC certi certified. As I mentioned earlier, you can go onto the FSC website and you can check out which companies are FSC certified. There's a whole process to go through and they are supposed to present their FSC code quite openly. Um, and you can search the, the business in the search um, that FSC has and notebook therapy isn't there. So, you know, I don't believe the sustainability kind of element to it which is okay but overall i'm pretty happy with the notebook 